Hey everybody, it's Christine Barger. Today I'm doing a quick splice basic tutorial of picture in picture because someone asked me for it. So uh, here we go. You're gonna open splice and then pick the video you're gonna use. I'm just gonna use this video here and uh, you can rename your project if you want. I don't usually do this, but you can. Um, I don't even know a sample YouTube thing. Okay, uh, hit that, air, that uh, check mark and then uh, create and it will create your project for you. That's where you choose whether you want it in portrait mode or square all that too. So, uh, all right. So it's going to play here on this little like timeline thing. And there's so many options you can do below. I'm not going to go over all of them. Uh, but if you want to add like text, you can click on text. You can add text right on top. That's something that a lot of people need to know how to do for like adding open captions or whatever you're going to do it there. I don't know how to spell Peterson Museum. So that's where we were though in this video. So we'll just, yeah, cool. And you can move it around, just drag it around. It's super easy. They give you the, uh, the markings there. Hi, Bagheera. Bagheera wants to help give the tutorial. Um, so yeah, you can drag it, make it shorter, make it longer, edit where you want it, drag it over. It's super easy. Um, and then you can even change the font and all that. We're not going to do that right now. It's super easy. You'll figure that out. Okay. But to do picture in picture, you're going to do overlay. And I'm just going to choose the same video because I don't know what other video to use. So let's just use that. You can also do a photo, but we're going to do a video and put it right there. Now I'm going to make it smaller by or shorter by dragging it in. Um, I can long pot, like click on it and drag it over if I want to move it. Um, but in order to make it smaller, I click on it and then I just pinch it on the actual like video part at the top, drag it where I want it. Um, but again, you can make it on the, um, the timeline down there. You can make it longer or shorter. You can edit it that way. You can also change how fast it plays. Um, there's just a lot of options that you can do. It's super easy to use. It's one of my favorite like phone editing apps because it's just super easy. Um, so yeah, if you go over here, you can mute it. So you're not hearing the sound from both picture and picture. Um, I'm making it faster there with the speed. So see, there's just all these options. Now look, oh, look how fast at the top one is. Hey. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's that easy uh, to do. And then you just export it. And you can choose 4K, 1080p, 720 or whatever. Uh, yeah. And to do that, it's that top little arrow in the top right corner next to the word new. You see that? Uh, it's up there. Oh, and if you want to add a title card or like an end card, you can do that. So like this is what I do for my YouTube videos. I add an end card and I say thanks for watching or please subscribe or all the things. So yeah, really easy program to use. But that is the picture in picture. Like I said, you could do photos, you could do a video and then export it in that top right and you can just save it. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and go be a light in the world.